What's going on, everybody? I'm back. Let's talk about a very interesting topic today. And originally, I was going to make this into a Facebook status, but I figured I could get more value to more people via this YouTube longer term than this Facebook status that'll be there for maybe, well, it's going to be there all the time, but you, know, you won't see it unless you're looking for it. Feel me? So today, I want to talk about shutting the hell up and listening. And what that means is when you have a friend or a family member who comes to you for venting purposes, they're going through a struggle, they're going through a challenge right now that they just, they don't know what the hell to do, they, they want to basically have someone else understand them. And you sit there, you listen, trying to figure out something to say as a rebuttal, like, well, if I were you, I would do this. I need you to fight that. I need you to shut the hell up and listen. That is all. The reason I say this, as soon as you in your brain start to formulate kind of a, some form of advice, whatever that looks like, you are no longer listening to them. You are no longer trying to empathize with them. You are no longer caring to feel what they feel. You are looking to serve your agenda, whether you realize it or not. So I say, shut up and listen. Chances are the person that's venting to you knows exactly what they're gonna do with that situation. They know exactly what they need to do. They just haven't made sense of it yet. And that's why they need to vent. That's why they need to talk. That's why they need, the, or they feel the need to be understood. So you ask the right questions, you let them talk, you never tell them what to do. You ask, how does that make you feel? What does that mean to you? What, what do you think you're going to do? That kind of stuff. Ask those questions and vice versa. If you're going to somebody to vent about your frustrations with life, your challenges that you're facing right now and you need help making a decision or maybe you're just frustrated, it doesn't really matter. If you don't even get the chance to fully tell your story and they immediately shoot advice at you, they don't care to understand you. They don't care to feel what you're feeling. They care to serve their agenda, once again, without maybe even realizing it. And we're programmed this way because that's the way, like, we, we got to make ourselves sound smart and the wise one and whatnot. But I'm telling you, you will form stronger bonds with your friends, your family, if you just seek to understand and not throw advice at someone and say, you need to do this because that's what I would do. Well, guess what? You're not me and I'm not you. You know exactly what you need to do. All you need to do is somehow get your thoughts out in a physical form, whether it be speaking it, whether it be typing it, whether it be writing it. It doesn't matter. You just need to see what you're thinking. That way you can make a logical decision on what you want to do. Because you already know what to do. You just have to see all that information so you can make the correct decision. And if you have friends and family that are just immediately shooting advice at you, I would seriously consider getting some new friends and maybe some new family. Because they don't care to understand or feel your pain. They care to serve their own agenda, whatever that looks like. So just shut up and listen.